just getting about four or five seconds in the end. About a little wink. Smile! Just, just go. John? John? Okay, so much. Yeah, there you go. Can you get a little closer to him? Good. Okay, folks, right here, big smiles. Steven, chin down just a little bit. There you go. Right here, everyone. <laughs> Come on, you're allowed. Come on. There you go. No, no, don't turn your face back, though. Okay. There, that's it. That's it. Like that. Can you turn? Okay. Take a look. At, just take a look at your son for a second. Take a look at each other. Look at each other. That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hola. How are we? Um, we that was the funniest thing. We were in the manicure place this morning. <laughs> Tuxedo. It's just, uh, <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hey. You didn't Thank give an air kiss. Congratulations, man. Thank you. My condolences. Where's the bar? Okay, enough of the video. Are you sending me home early? Don't do that. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Air kiss only. Air kiss only. Lots of luck to you. Gorgeous. Okay, let me. All right, watch out, watch out, Liz. Liz, come off. Really? Can you relax and smile? Okay. Can you try to relax I'll and try. smile? I'll try. All right, look here and just relax and smile for two seconds. I need seconds. a drink. <laughs> well, I'll help you relax. Yeah. Okay. One more like that. Get a little closer. Yeah, more hurt. Without breaking anything, I'll get a little closer. Not a joke. <laughs> You're not taking pictures, were you? Yeah, you did. My wife said, you get lots of pictures. I want pictures of Cheryl and Steve. Look here and just follow me as I'm walking from left to right. No, they didn't make it up yet. Okay, that's it. Wow. See, this is a, I mean, you went right there. Well, I do need a little pop on her face. The eagle are seeing it's beautiful. Oh, sure. They are? Yeah. Who said that? Hi, Cheryl. I want to know. Hi, Steve. Bring your face a little forward. It's dramatic shot. A little more. You got it right there. Married already? Like, do I have you the license? Can you put that on our computer? Think about tonight. What? Tonight. You know when you're cutting the cake? You know when you're counting the money? Steven, chin down a little. Oh no, didn't you read the thing on the bottom of the invitation? No presents needed. I told Sherry. Okay, guys, little kiss. Little. Too much tongue. Okay, okay. Break it up. Break it up. Let hey, get him. Turn your face to me also. There you go. That's it. Snuggle into each other now. Your boyfriend's shoulder there. He's not my boyfriend. What do I do with my hands? Keep it here. That's perfect. Yep. It's a few minutes to... Uh... Great. Right here, one more time. 
Steve or Nate? Smiles. Everyone get a little closer. You got it. All right. I'm a picture of Cheryl in the middle with each of them around, hands around her throat like that. <laughs> She's just like right in it. Very nice. Hi. 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 Did you guys write your own vows? <laughs> no. I wrote them. Um, she had last time she gave her a I'm cleaning just, I'm cleaning a... This is no, Susie's just a take that everyone... With ginger ale. What? Sour mix. It wasn't a minute ago. And cranberry I had to juice. get all this powder off. Okay. Can I get a little bit of powder? Okay. Guys, right here, big smiles. Do one like that. Very good, guys. Thank you very much. Now I need the girls. Three... Okay, ladies, right here. <laughs> All right, are we on audio too? Okay, everybody just remember when yeah, I said we're on audio. Hey. Hey. Steve, Steve, give Ron some moisturizer. I didn't say anything. <laughs>
Adonai, blessed are you who come in the name of the Lord. Eloheinu Beloheh Avotenu, our God and God of our ancestors, bestow your loving blessings upon Cheryl Blim and Stephen Gollum as they unite their lives before you this day. Cause them to prosper in their life together. Teach them to share life's joys and life's trials and to grow in understanding and devotion. May love and companionship abide within the home they establish. May they live their lives together in health and happiness, always grateful unto you for the union of their lives. And together we all say, Amen. Amen. O serve the Lord with gladness, come before God with singing. O God, supremely blessed, supreme in might and glory, guide and bless this bridegroom and bride. Cheryl and Stephen, for thousands of years when the Jewish people has had a simcha, a happy occasion to celebrate, we've lifted up a cup of wine, maybe grape juice, but a Jewish wedding is a very, very special symptom in our tradition. And for that reason, the two of you will be drinking from not one, but two cups of wine during this ceremony. And of course, we have blessings to go with each of those cups. So I'm going to say the first set of blessings, which are two in number over this first cup. These are known as the betrothal blessings. And I'm going to ask your friends and your family who are gathered here to respond amen after each of these two blessings. And if they do a good job, I'll translate into English. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Pretty good. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al ha'arayot v'asar lanu et ha'arusot v'hitir lanu et hanesuot lanu al yedei chupa v'kiyushin. Baruch atah Adonai mikadei shamo Yisrael al yedei chupa v'kiyushin. And we say, Amen. Drink as I say, blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has established laws and teachings regarding our relationships with all people, and whose laws of love are fulfilled through the laws of the bridal canopy and betrothal. <laughs> Praised are you, O Lord, who sanctifies your people Israel through the chuppah and the ceremony of marriage. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad on it. Cheryl and Stephen, we give God a good deal of the credit for bringing us to this day because we know just how extraordinary it is when the right man and woman find one another. The Zohar, the medieval book of mystical commentary to the Torah, states that before a soul comes into this world, it is split into two parts. One part destined for a little girl to be born someday, and the other for a little boy. Our search for the right mate, then, is literally our search for our other half, for our soulmate. But the truth is that the two of you really didn't have far to search. You both worked at Jamie Marketing and met there, although the truth of the matter is that Cheryl you told me you really didn't think that Stephen was all that friendly at first. I assume you've changed your mind about that. Okay, I know that you've changed your mind about that, because the two of you became friends first, which is the strongest foundation for any marriage. Cheryl and Stephen, you have similar tastes in music and movies. You both enjoy cooking, and by your own admission, have a similarly warped, dark sense of humor. <laughs> It is also true that you do not generally enjoy being the center of attention, but you have agreed to make an exception just this once. You are being married at a very significant point in the Jewish calendar year. About four weeks ago, we celebrated Passover, and in three weeks, we will celebrate Shavuot, the anniversary of the giving of the Torah. This seven-week period in between the two festivals is a time of great anticipation and expectations as we renew our people's ancient covenant with God. And tonight, the two of you establish a sacred covenant with one another by standing under this chuppah and making the ultimate commitment possible between a man and a woman. For the two of you, for your parents, Ethel and Jerry, and Francine and Donald, as well as your other family and friends, this is an occasion of incredible 
expectations, and excitement. We pray that your dreams will all be realized. Your Hebrew names, Shira and Shlomo, translate into song and peace. May your marriage be filled with peace as you make beautiful songs, beautiful music together. Beneath this lovely papa, which symbolizes the home which the two of you now officially established together, we pray that your home will be one filled with the warmth, the wisdom, and the wit of our Jewish tradition. Knowing that all those gathered here wish only the best for the two of you, and only the best of life, of all that life has to offer, we now invoke God's blessings upon the two of you in your marriage, in the traditional words of the Torah. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'yichunecha, may God's presence shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom, may God's presence be lifted up unto the two of you, and may your lives together always be filled with peace. And together we all say, Amen. <laughs> However, before you can reach that point, I do have to ask you each one rather important question. So excuse me one moment as I take this on. We want everybody to hear the answer to this question. <laughs> do you, Stephen, take Cheryl to be your wife, promising to cherish and protect her, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with her a life hallowed by the faith of Israel. Yes, I do. <laughs> and do you, Cheryl, take Stephen to be your husband, promising to cherish and protect him, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with him a life hallowed by the faith of Israel? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> in keeping with the loving declaration the two of you have just made, you will now exchange rings. These rings are a token of your union, a symbol of enduring loyalty. May they always remind you that your lives are to be bound together by devotion and faithfulness. First of all, Stephen is going to Cheryl. Stephen, as you place this ring upon the finger of your bride, look at her and say these words to her. Haray. Haray. At. At. Mikudesha. Mikudesha. Li. Li. Bi. Bi. Tabat. Tabat. Zo. So, Kedat, Kedat, Moshe, Moshe, the Yisrael, the Israel. With this ring, with this ring, be thou consecrated, be thou consecrated unto me, unto me, as my wife, as my wife, according to the religion, according to the religion of Moses and Israel, of Moses and Israel. And now, Cheryl, we ask you to take this ring and place it upon the finger of your groom, and looking at him, say these words to him. Hooray! Hooray! ceremony began, we signed some very important pieces of paper. One was issued by the, as one of your witnesses noted, the New Jersey Department of Health and Senior Services. <laughs> I mean, you're not that old. But that civil marriage license is kind of a black and white document which really doesn't speak to who the two of you are and to your individuality and your personalities. And so the two of you have selected this gorgeous ketubah, which has been printed up in celebration of your wedding, and I would like to read from it at this time. It says in part, Be'echad b'shabat, shlosha asar yom l'chodesh iyar, shnad chameshet alafim u'shva me'ot v'shishim v'achat, l'briyat olam, l'minyin sha'anamonim kan, b'rotli, New Jersey. E'ech shehabakur shlomo, 
בין יעקב ברל ופגע זיסל למשפחת גולוב, אמר ללהד הבטולטה שירה בת יוסף ואתל למשפחת גלים, הבא לי לאימתו כדת משה וישראל והכל שריר וקיים. On the first day of the week, the 13th day of the month of E.R., in the year 5761, which corresponds to the 6th day of May, in the year 2001, the Holy Covenant of Marriage was entered into at Rockley, New Jersey, between the bridegroom, Stephen Gollum, and his bride, Cheryl Glynn. The said bridegroom made the following declaration to his bride, Be my wife according to the laws of Moses and Israel. I faithfully promise that I will be a true husband unto you. I will honor and cherish you. I will protect and support you. And I will provide all that is necessary for your sustenance according to the usual custom of Jewish husbands. I also take upon myself all such further obligations for your maintenance as are prescribed by our religious statute. And the said bride has entered into this holy covenant with affection and sincerity and has taken upon herself fulfillment of all of the duties which are incumbent upon a Jewish wife. This covenant of marriage was duly executed and witnessed on this day according to the usage of Israel and in keeping with Jewish tradition it is signed by the required two witnesses and also in keeping with Jewish tradition. I'm going to hand this at least for the moment to our bride, okay, so that you have taken possession of it. And I can hold it now for some keeping it. <laughs> Now, I did promise you that second cup of wine. And uh, this second cup of wine symbolizes the cup of life. As you now go through life together as husband and wife, you will be sharing all that the future may hold for you. We hope that it will hold a great deal of sweetness, and that sweetness should be even more sweet because you share your lives as you now share this second cup of wine. And at the same time, we pray that there will be very few moments of sorrow and sadness, but even those should be easier to take because, again, you'll share those moments in life as you're sharing the second cup of wine. There are seven blessings, Sheva Brachot, over the second cup of wine, and I will recite those blessings in Hebrew, and again, I'm going to ask your family and friends to please respond Amen after each of the seven blessings. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shahakol bara lechvodo. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yotzer haadam. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher yatzar et haadam b'tzalmo b'tzalem demut tavnito. Ve'itkin lo mimenu binyan adeyad. Baruch atah Adonai Yotzer ha'adam. Sos tasis v'tagel ha'akara v'kibutz baneha litocha b'simcha. Baruch ata Adonai m'sameach tzion b'baneha. Sameach t'samach re'im ha'ahuvim k'samechacha yitzircha v'gan eden mikedem. Baruch ata Adonai m'sameach chatan v'chala. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Asher bara sason v'simcha, chatan v'chala, gila rina ditza v'chedva, ahava v'achava v'shalom v'reut. Meheira Adonai Eloheinu, yishama v'arei Yehuda v'chutzot Yerushalayim. Kol sason v'kol simcha, kol chatan v'kol kala. Kol mitzalot chatani mechu v'atam, un arim v'mishtei neginatam. Baruch ata Adonai, m'sameach chatan im hakala. Together we all say, Amen. As I say, Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine, who created all things for your glory, who created man and woman, that together they might perpetuate life, who created joy and gladness, bride and groom, mirth, song, delight and rejoicing, love and harmony, peace and companionship, O Lord our God, may there always be heard in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem the sound of joy and gladness of bride and groom, the jubilant voices of those joined in marriage under the bridal canopy, the voices of young people feasting and singing. Praised are you, O Lord, who unites bride and groom in holy joy. And now that having been said, 
I'm pleased to inform you that in the presence of this congregation as witness, the two of you have spoken the words and performed the rites which officially unite your lives, and therefore I am very pleased and proud to declare you, Stephen and Cheryl, to be husband and wife, married in accordance with the laws of the state of New Jersey, and according to the tradition of our Jewish faith, a faith that has reserved one blessing for the most special of occasions, and I'll ask all your guests here who are familiar with the Shehechianu blessing 